Hey everybody out there, Chris here, and welcome back to another weekly comic book review. And uh, let's see, let's start us off with news. Long before Christmas, we'll hopefully be up by tonight, uh, depending on voice recording wise. Uh, actually, it's almost 10 o'clock, there's two hours left to today, so it's probably going to be up tomorrow. Um, last part's always the longest, so it will be converted and it will be up probably right after this video. Indie review will follow that, and then the comic review for the books that came out this past Wednesday will follow that. Next week, aren't that many books. So uh, Mike and I are actually working on uh, a special thing to put in the comic review. So the comic review might actually be early, uh, depending on how long it takes for us to get that other part to the comic review done. Uh, but anyway, got a lot of books this week. News-wise, I have been MIA on Dark Avenger for the past two weeks. I've been super busy at work. It's been super crazy. Uh, actually, right after these videos uh, for this channel, I'm going to be running over to Dark Avenger Inc. and shooting a couple of videos from the comic books that came out two weeks ago um, for Inc. Unfortunately, the comics from about uh, three weeks ago, I'm going to have to let those go. I wanted to do them. Uh, things got really bad uh, three weeks ago, and it just they never made it up. And not to mention, also, I have other videos that will be going up on Brooklyn Boys very soon, also, that I have to edit together. So, there's your news. Now, let's get into the books for this week. And actually, this is the last uh, comic book haul before Christmas. So, I hope all of you guys have a very Merry Christmas, a wonderful Christmas. I hope you get everything you guys wanted, or at least most of the things you wanted. Live show will not be on Tuesday due to the fact that it is Christmas Eve. It will be on Thursday. We are going to skip over Tuesday and Wednesday, and we'll be doing it on Thursday, the day after Christmas. And we'll be discussing all the books that we have here uh, on that live show. The following week for New Year's, there hasn't been a definitive date for a live show. So uh, for right now, basically take it as there is no live show. And there is actual uh, actually news for the live show, but that's part of the announcement for Dark Avenger Inc. So I'm going to save it for Dark Avenger Inc. And we're going to get into the books that I got this week. I got so many books. I actually have one book that um, that's from a couple, from a month or two ago. We've got whoop, Amazing Spider-Man issue 700.4, 700.5, All New X-Men issue 20. I did read some of these, by the way. That's why they're out of order. Uh, Scarlet Spider, issue 25, the final issue. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 29, can't wait for issue 30, so it's 30 in. Uh, Thor, God of Thunder, issue number 16. Superior Spider-Man, issue 24. Supergirl, issue 26. Harley Quinn, which is probably going to possibly be uh, one of the highlights from DC this week, issue number 1. Green Lantern, New Guardians, issue 26. Let's see him on that. Forever Evil Rogues Rebellion, issue 3 of 6. Daredevil, issue 34. Two more before they relaunch it. Cataclysm, Ultimate Comics, X-Men, issue 2. That's Mike's book. Batman Beyond Universe, issue 5. Batman Two-Face, issue 26. I was right about the next story arc. Animal Man, issue number 26. Animal Man was recently announced that in March it will be the final issue. Very sad about that, but what can you do? Now we're in Michael's books. Pandora, issue 6. Red Hood and the Outlaws, issue 26. Long Shot Saves the Marvel Universe, issue 4. He's keeping Deadpool with Deadpool, issue 21. And then I have two books. This book came out a while ago. They're out of order. This book came out, I believe, a month or two ago, and it's Lock and Key Alpha, issue 1. Uh, originally, I missed it. I, I missed it in the solicits um, when I was making my order for uh, the comics that um, of the week that this came out. Then I decided, you know what, it's going to be a two-part series. It's going to be huge. They're going to make a mini book of it. And then it turns out they're not making a, a book for Alpha. They're adding Alpha to Omega, and the book's going to be double price. So I decided to wait for issue two, which issue two came out this week. The final issue of Lock and Key. So I basically bought both of them at the same time so this is issue one and two I did not review issue one so look forward to a double issue review probably for next week's indie review or I might save both of these books because there's no indie review 
for the week of the 24th because nothing comes out from what I understand. Uh, we are going to look into a few books. Maybe we will review a few books that didn't come out of the week of the December 24th. But these two, especially because they're big, they're thick, there's a lot of pages to read. Uh, I highly doubt I will finish these two books um, by the next indie review. I will try. If I do, I, gar I promise you guys they'll be in the next indie review. If I don't then there'll be, I don't want to skip a week for the indie review. I want to try to keep it every single week, even if there aren't that many indie books. Uh, but we'll see, because there really are no indie books coming out on the 24th that we read or that we have. At this, I don't know. I'm going to go through a couple of the 24th books and see what I can get my hands on. But until then, guys, uh, stay tuned for news on that. Now let's get into your guys' comments. And we're going to go back to last week's weekly haul, which was haul issue number five. And we're going to go from bottom to top. Brand says Talon is canceled too. Thank you, Brand. They actually did mention that Talon is being canceled as well when they released the March solicits for DC Comics. Nick's back here with another two questions. Um, Chris, because of the no show on my live shows, I won't have any until January 1st. Karnak was the main character for the Inhumanity number one, I know that. First, after the whole evil Superman story, what JSA members um, who have not shown in Earth 2 would you like to see in the series, JSA? Wildcat, I would say. I'd like to see Wildcat again. I'm trying to think of other characters from the JSA. Um, honestly, I'd have to really stunt and uh, think about who's not already um, there. Uh, second, do you think that Metamorpho will show up in the New 52? We'll have to wait till next year. That would be interesting, though. Third, have you ever read the JSA series by... No, I've never... I'm not even going to ask. I'm not even going to finish that. I've not read anything JSA-related except when Kingdom Come Superman joined the JSA, and I don't remember who wrote it. So if it was James Robinson or Jeff Johns, I believe it might have been Jeff Johns, then yes. If not, then I haven't read Jeff Johns or James Robinson's. It was a really good, uh, it was, yeah, it was really good to read. I might check them out one day for right now. Not really too interested in going backwards at the moment because forwards is very expensive. Please try it. and It is in trade paperback form. Fourth, have you ever read any Black Panther comics? His comics are usually pretty good. No, I haven't. And not, no offense to the character, but I have really no interest in Black Panther. I have nothing, um of interest in a lot of Marvel characters that had uh, solo series for a while. Brant wrote, X-Men Legacy number 300 is more than just a connection to Legion um, leg of the series. They're bringing back past writers to the previous versions of the title and doing a special, so I think it'll likely have more than one story in it. Not all about Legion, but I'm not 100% sure, so maybe I'll ask, I'll tell Mike to give it a check out anyway. Spice Nug, hey Chris, nice haul. This week, as usual, thanks for answering my question regarding Marvel. My question today is, if a TV studio production team came up to you and asked you to, uh, to cast Superman for a new live-action TV series, who would you cast to play Superman and Lois? At the spur of the moment, I couldn't tell you. I would love to see Tom Welling uh, as Superman, but a lot of people, and I do agree with this, when it comes to Superman, you can't pick a known uh, person, you need an unknown. So if Tom Welling, who 99.9% .9 will turn down that offer, uh, I would just start um, casting uh, unknowns and see whichever one matches up to Superman. As far as Lois, I think the best thing, because a lot of times I notice they, they uh, hire on uh, uh, known actresses for Lois. I think I would go with an unknown for Lois Lane as well. It works best, I believe. Find somebody who looks like... I would try to be as... As far as the actors and actress, I would try to be as comic accurate as possible. Oh, and before I forget, uh, I do have a second question. When you decide to hang on a com uh, hang a comic on your wall, what's the deciding factor? Is it because you like the issue or the cover or both? Sorry for the lengthy post. No worries about the post, first of all, Spice Nug. Second, it's a combination. For example, this cover I have up here because I love the cover, and I actually had this as a um, profile picture for a while, not only on Facebook, but on all my other accounts. Spider-Man, Batman, both have awesome covers, and one of them has an awesome story, the other one has a good one. Dark Avenger, obviously, because of 
my name. This was a spectacular comic. It was actually given to me by my very good friend, uh, Chris Dawkins Howlett, and I, I treasure this comic um, dearly. This is the first time, uh, this was the first, um, this was the first comic that showed the last days of Mom Pa Kent. This is a 12, uh, a 12 cent issue, and it's very, for any Superman fan, this is a huge comic. Amazing Spider-Man 258, awesome cover, again, awesome story. So it's a bunch of random comics, like Venom is just because of the awesome cover, Superman Unchained is because of the Dan Jurgens cover, same thing with Spider-Man Unlimited, Teen Titans, uh, they're come a Titan, you don't have to show it, I'm just pointing them mm. out, um, is because this is the first appearance of Nightwing, so it's, it's a bunch of random, it just depends. On the other wall, however, I have all, all my books are signed, so it's any book at all. And then Kat, who was the final commenter, said, I totally agree. There were so many books this week. I had 22 books and had to read them all in one day and then re uh, record everything. That's crazy. And Kat works really hard, guys. You guys should definitely check out her um, videos because she works her butt off each and every week for you guys. And you could see it in your um, subscription box. We are now in the indie review. Spice Nug again, hey guys, great review. The Robin Hood ending sounds interesting. I'm looking forward to trying it next year when I can get it on trade, hopefully. And that Shredder issue sounds good. Looking forward to getting it, assuming I don't make another mistake like last uh, time, that is. No worries, Spice Nug, I'm sure it, 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 it happens to the best of us. I've It's happened to me so, a few times already. And then Mike, Spider Slayer commented, so funny, guys, the whole time I was saying Godstorm, Godstorm. <laughs> if you guys could only hear me <laughs> like you guys could hear me thanks Mike we <laughs> figured it out um let's see do we have any for this one mm, I want to see if there's any questions yeah All right, I'm gonna do I don't normally do it and I won't do it for part three I didn't do it for part one but vlog before Christmas I asked you guys part two a question and I did get a few responses Nick said uh, there are three things I want to see for Christmas first I would like to see a new Robin Hood, uh, Red Robin series, so would I, a new Robin ongoing series, and a new Outsider series. Second, Scott Lobdell off Teen Titans and Superman. Third, Teen Titans history fully restored. Also, I want the pre-New 52 outfit back for Red Robin and Tim Drake's history back the way it was pre-New 52. That would be pretty cool. I'm sure you want to see this too, Dan Jurgens and Mark Wade on the Superman books and Marv Wolfman on Teen Titans. Absolutely, I agree, Nick. I would definitely love to see um, Dan Jurgens and Matt, uh, Mark Wade on, on a Superman book. I know that it wouldn't fail them for sure, and it definitely would be something to remember. Kat said, glad to see this up, Chris. My favorite Christmas moment had to be when my brother and I wanted the DS for Christmas, and we went downstairs to open our presents, but my mom said she wasn't able to get the DS. So we did our usual Christmas routine and went to Long Island to see both set of grandparents and visit family. We went to my mom's side of the family, and she would usually get us presents for my, uh, for my grandparents. We were opening presents, and she got us both the DS. I was shocked. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good surprise, so am I. Uh, then I don't know why I put my post for anything. Anyway, Zach Lee says amazing work. Thank you, Zach. And then Kat also said, I agree with you, Chris. We shouldn't want to relate to Superman. I believe it, in making superheroes relatable because that's the fun part about the storytelling. But Superman is supposed to be that character everyone looks up to. That is the way we should relate to him. I agree. I probably read that horrible. Uh, comic Book Corner, I did do the Superman Files. Let's see if that got anything. I did get one from Mario Badillo, and he's a great review. Um, Chris, thank you, Mario. You can just turn the volume off on it. And now we're going into last week's late comic review. Only by a day, though. Nick, another great review, guys. First, what Neil Gaiman wrote... Um, a series featuring his most popular character like Dream from Sandman, Black Orchard from the series he wrote, Tim Hunter from Book of Magic, Death, and also John Constantine, Animal Man, and Swamp Thing from the New 52, and Zatanna, Zatara uh, from pre-New 52, not the New 52 version.
What if Neil Gaiman? I, I couldn't understand that question, Nick. You're going to have to re-ask it. Second, what is your view on Deadshot on Smallville and Deadshot on Arrow? I can't compare. I did not watch Arrow as of yet, so I, I'm sorry. I really can't do a uh, comparison. Third, what is your view on a possible movie based on Neil Gaiman's Sandman? Where uh, I, I'm going to stop the question there. I've never read Sandman, so I have no um, opinion. Fourth, have you ever read Sandman? No, I haven't. Um... So I have no opinion completely on any of those questions. Sorry, Nick. Uh, Sam and Mystery Theater is really a series. It's a very noir series. Cool. I might look into it one day. I like your Carmen San Diego shirt. Thank you, Nick. Spice, no. Great review, guys. Thanks, Spice. Nick also said, Chris, can you read my comments from your Christmas vlog part two? Just did. And um, then, of course, it's my Google Plus. Wow, Nick. See, you didn't even have to ask. I told you guys that I was going to read part two. Part three, I will not be reading. So the comments you guys leave for part three will be looked, um, will not be mentioned on the whole show. However, this week's, this video's um, comments will, along with the indie reviews and the next comic review. I will probably... In the following week, when I do my uh, announcement video, I will probably be reading off comments there because there are a few questions. So if you guys really would like to have your comments heard, if you'd like your opinions heard, um, let them be heard on the video. So I'll let them be heard on this video. Now, I'm not promising that yet. It depends on what my announcements completely are. I'm still working on that. And I still have to work on the ink announcements, which I have to talk over with the others, other guys and gals on ink and get those settled first uh, and then I'm going to actually work on mine but I want to get inks done first because that channel is um, more than one person for me I know exactly what I already want to do so I want to make sure everybody else is on the same page when it comes to ink um, I hope you guys once again have a very Merry Christmas uh, I would say Happy New Year but we will be back before the New Year so for right now for those of you that celebrate Christmas Merry Christmas hope you guys get everything you wanted like I said if not as much as possible there will be a Christmas haul will I be reading the comments on that most likely so that'll be probably in the middle of next week um, like I said the live show will be on Thursday I'll probably mention that again on the comic review on Sunday um, so thank you guys so much for sticking around don't forget to check out ComicRelated.com, ComicFrontline, and DarkAvengerInc.com. All of those sites are your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. If you like what you saw in this video, let me know in the comments below. Let your voice be heard, and I will be mentioning you guys then on the next weekly haul. If you haven't subscribed to any uh, channel that you can subscribe to, if you like what you see, please do. And if you like the website you're reading off of that I mentioned, or any website that we have on Dark Avenger Inc. on our channel, we have a bunch of websites that one or more of our members are a part of. Um, definitely bookmark those websites. This way you can come back and check out the new stuff because we update 365 days a year. 366 when it's leap year. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. Take care, everybody. Keep reading, keep collecting. And I will see you guys really soon in the next review.